Welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith brought to you by Believer's Ministry where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us as we are taking excerpts from our pastor's recent sermon. It's going to be about five minutes. The title of today's message is On the Run. Our lesson text will be taken from Jonah, the first chapter, but our focus will be only on one verse of scripture, and that's verse number three from the New International Version. And it reads, But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa, where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went aboard and sailed for Tarshish to flee from the Lord. Jonah actually thought that he could run from God. He was deceived in his thinking. So he was out of position mentally as far as God is concerned. That's where it always starts, in the mind. Jonah was out of position physically. He wasn't where God wanted him to be. And he was out of position spiritually because he was doing his own thing. He was disobedient to the call of God. Jonah did what he wanted to do, not what God wanted him to do. God may also ask us to do something that we've never done before. He may ask us to do something we don't want to do. But we must remember that God calls the shots. Yes. We must remember that when we are, are in Christ, we are God's property. Yes. We belong to God. Yes. We're bought yes. with a price. Yes. And we must remember that what we want to do and what God wants us to do mm. can be two different things. Yeah. We are called to fulfill the plan and purpose of God. We must remember that we exist only because God wills that we mm. exist. Amen. We were made by God. Yes. And we were made yes. for God. Yes. It's only in God that we discover our origin, our identity, our meaning, our purpose, our significance, mm -hmm. and our destiny. Mm -hmm. So we must learn to answer God's call with a yes. Mm -hmm. We must learn to lean on Jesus yes. and yes. trust him to show us and equip us for what he yes. wants us to do. Yes. God had to show Jonah who was boss. All right. All right. Jonah couldn't run mm -hmm. from God and now his hideout. It's where God put him, and that is in the belly of the fish. Where could Jonah go? But to the Lord. Now God had Jonah's undivided attention when it's all said and done. God knows how to get our undivided attention. He knows how to knock out all the props from under us. And he knows how to get us along with him. And we find out that the only place to run is to Jesus. Yes. Like the songwriter yes. said, where could I go yes. but to the Lord? Yes. So yes. some of us have to go back to the place of our disobedience before we can move forward with God. Sometimes we say we're trying to move forward without first repentance. Mm -hmm. It will not work. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Revelation, the second chapter, verse 5, remember, therefore, where you have fallen, Repent and do the first works. You cannot move forward with God until you repent of your disobedience. And if we don't repent, God knows how to prepare a fish for us. Jonah came to the end of himself. And that's what happens with us. God brings us to the end of ourselves. He does this so we can see beyond any shadow of doubt that when God delivers us from our impossible situation, mm -hmm. that it was God and God alone. Yes. Otherwise, we would yes. take the credit yes. that we thought that we worked it out. Mm -hmm. Or we give the credit to the system. Mm -hmm. Or we give the credit to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Or to the lawyer. Or to the employer. Mm -hmm. Or to the preacher. Mm -hmm. Or to the missionary. Mm -hmm. And so on. But it's God and God alone delivers. It's God and God alone who saves. Yes. It's God and God alone yes. who sets free. Jesus. Salvation comes from the Lord. Okay, make up your mind that you're not going to be a fugitive on the run any longer. Jesus. Be a follower and not a fugitive. Run to the Lord, not from the Lord. Hide in the Lord, not from the Lord. When the Lord sees you next, may he see your face 
and not your back. Right. Make up your mind that you're not going to be a fugitive yes. on the run. We trust that the word has encouraged you, has impacted your life, and we'd like to extend a cordial invitation to come out and join us in service. Our address is 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E, Gehanna, Ohio, 43230.